This is Victor Prieto with your News in 90. A recent bill proposed by the House would allow charter schools to receive a share of money collected by the Alachua County School Board. A half cent sales tax raising tens of millions of dollars for the school board to work on facilities. Architects have already been hired by the district to begin fixing a number of schools across the county. The boards also announced that a new elementary school would be built on the southwest side of Gainesville. Charter schools are not currently included because they are not public owned facilities. More than two dozen unmarked graves were found on the property of a reform school in Mariana, Florida. A ground penetrating radar was used by a company who was working on the former property of the Arthur G. Dozier School for Boys when anomalies were detected. The school was one of the largest reform institutions in the country. In 2011, the school closed because of public concerns. The U.S. Justice Department Civil Rights Division confirmed students were abused at the school since opening in 1900. Anthropologists from the University of South Florida will excavate about 50 unmarked graves and will investigate the reports of abuse and unexplainable deaths of past students. And two hikers who were missing for five days were found after using a water purifying straw to stay alive. Eric DeSplinter and Gabrielle Wallace wandered off a trail near Mount Baldy in San Bernardino County, California. After splitting up with their group, rescue teams began searching the surrounding areas after the two got lost last Saturday. The splinter credited his life straw, a straw-like object that purifies water, for allowing him and Wallace to stay hydrated throughout their five days. A search team found footprints near Cucamonga Canyon, and the two were eventually hoisted out that night with the help from a helicopter and rescued. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.